Hi, welcome back. As you can see, Chippy's bone has been left on the bed. I didn't take it off because I know he'll be back to um, gnaw on it. And it's best that he gnaws on his bone than on the fabric from the pillows or from the comforter. Anyway, I am here with a quick video on how I travel with my wig. I've been asked quite a few times about how I travel with my wigs or how to travel. So I'm here to tell you what I do. It's probably not the most conventional way, but it works and I think it's a good idea. Now, right here, for example, I have Chloe in this Ziploc bag. Um, I know it's not the Ziploc brand, but it's one of those like self zippered bags. Okay, here's what I do. I turn the wigs inside out. I put a net over the wig and I'm not talking a net punicello. I'm talking about a hair net. I place the wig in the bag and then I either suck with a straw or I just squeeze all the air out until we have a very, very flat, flat plastic bag. I also label the bag with the wig just because it's easier to put them in and out and there's no confusion. So anyway, she's flat as all get out. Next, here's where all my wigs go in my carry-on. And this carry-on, let me tell you something, if you ever get the chance to find a Longchamp carry-on like this, by all means, purchase it. This thing fits over two weeks worth of clothing. Now, mind you, I don't travel with a lot of clothing because I do travel in pieces that I can wear a couple of days in a row because when I travel, I'm more into what I'm going to see and what I'm going to do than what I'm going to wear. And I like to look nice, but trust me, I really pare down and everything can fit into a carry-on. The other reason why I like a carry-on is because I'm sorry, but I don't trust the airlines anymore. I don't like the way that luggage comes out on the conveyor belt, it's usually like, I don't know, it's just the luggage is never handled as nicely as I think that it should be. Um, and plus, I'm not paying the, the exorbitant prices anymore of extra luggage. I've paid enough for my plane ticket, and that's it. So that's just me. I have a gripe with the airlines. So let's let's end it at that so anyway after this is placed in the bag the shoes go on the bottom the clothes and the wigs are placed on top now i don't like to travel with more than three wigs because too many choices isn't good it's like looking at a menu that has a million choices and you just can't make a decision. I don't like to be indecisive. Normally when I travel um, like domestically, I'll just take two wigs because it'll just be for maybe three or four days. But when I'm traveling overseas, I do try to bring three wigs. It, I mean, it, it really depends. So let me show you how the wig comes out of the bag. You might be thinking, oh my God, the wig is going to get messed up if it's in that bag. No, it's not. It's just simply that I took the air out of the bag. I flattened the wig to make it more conducive for traveling and for packing. So I take the wig out. 
Wait, hold on. What are you doing? Stop that. Stop that. He's not eating his bone. Turn it right side out. Give it a good shake. And look, she's nice and fluffy and just needs a good finger comb. And she's ready to roll. Okay? That's it. It's really easy. Honestly, you don't need fancy packaging to travel with a wig. You need to treat you need to treat a wig the way you would treat any other piece of clothing. You don't have to be so gingerly when you pack it because trust me, after you shake it out, that wig is going to look brand new. So, don't worry about traveling at all. Now, I've also been asked if I've ever been stopped by TSA because of maybe metal combs in a wig or what have you. And yes, it happened only once. Um, I can't even remember where I was going, but um, the beeper went off, took all the jewelry off, nothing, like everything, nothing. And we couldn't figure out why. I finally said to the agent, oh my God, I'm wearing a wig and it has a metal um, a metal comb. That's probably it. I said, here, let me take it off. Well, let me tell you something. The TSA agent was mortified and surprised that I would even make an attempt to take my wig off, that it was just, no, that's okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's okay. It's okay. And that was the end of it. So that's about it with traveling with a wig. It's really easy. There's nothing to worry about. Put the wig in your carry-on because you want that wig close to you, especially if you are traveling with a good wig. God forbid you put a good wig that you spent hundreds of dollars on and checked in luggage and then it gets lost. You are never going to see that wig again. So my advice, keep the wigs close to you. Just like, just, just, just like your enemies, keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. Keep your hair close, but keep your wigs closer, and you will have no problem at all. I hope you like the idea of these bags. I think these bags are tremendous for putting wigs into. They're just lifesavers, and you can flatten them out, and it just makes it easier for packing. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this little advice about wigs. and. Take care.